Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an Easter pie in a cup special. Now, mind you, I am doing this for one serving. If you're going to do this for a club, I would suggest to double or triple, quadruple this recipe. That way you can make multiple pies at one time to sell at your club for Easter. So today I am going to start with the pistachio sugar-free jello. As you can see, I just did two tablespoons in my first cup. And now I am getting cheesecake and I am doing one in one cup and another in another cup because I'm going to split those two into another color. The pistachio jello turns green on its own. So we don't have to worry about adding anything to that. I'm going to start with protein mix for our first Herbalife product. And I'm going to put a whole scoop in with my pistachio. And then with my next scoop, I'm going to split that serving up between the next two cups. Like I said, this is just one serving so if you're going to make a big batch um just you know triple quadruple this recipe that way you can have them all pre-made and you can promote it and people can come pick them up from your club now we're going to use vanilla formula one it is the only formula one that you need to make this and i'm going to put a, just a little bit in my first cup and then I'm going to split the next two between, you know, the next two cups. That way all the cups have a little bit of the jello and also our products. Now that I have all three cups, I'm going to add a little bit of water. And as you can see, the green in the pistachio is automatically going to come out. But when I add water to the cheesecake, it's just, you know, vanilla looking. So with the second cup, I mean, you can use any colors you want. These are just the colors I chose to use today. I'm going to add a little bit of bloom. But then I'm also going to add some red. That way I get more of a purple color since it is for Easter. And then we will move on to the last cup. I'm going to add some yellow in there. It looks orange until you start mixing it, but I promise it's yellow. <laughs> now with the jello mix, you're going I, I don't have an exact measurement for the water. I honestly, it's always different for me. So I just mix and add water as I go. Just until I get that perfect consistency of what pie would be like and remember we have jello mix inside with our products so it is going to have that thicker consistency which is what we want for the pie and i'm just going to add a little bit of water as i go and again this is the pistachio in the front and i'm going to mix until i get that pudding like consistency and I'm going to move on to my second and third cup and I'm going to do the same you see how it has that pudding like texture to it and then with my yellow the same thing now that I have all three flavors this is the fun part now, I'm not a baker, so I don't have all the baking tools. You can very much go out and spend the money on the baking tools. Or you can use what you have in your house, which most households have Ziploc bags. So I'm going to show you how to do it with Ziploc bags so you don't have to spend money on a bunch of fancy baking tools. <laughs> so you're going to get Ziploc bags and just cut a little side just like that so that you have, you know, extra space room um, to put your puddings in there so make sure you scoop out all of your pudding mix that way we don't leave anything behind that's when these baking utensils 
really come in hand because it helps you get everything out that cup see so I have it all on my spatula here and I am just going to put that in the back just like that in the corner and I'll hold the bag when I pull the spatula out that way all the product that was on the spatula is also in the bag and now I'm going to do that same technique with the purplish color make sure you put it in the corner of the bag and this one my little spatula piece came off but no problem I'll just pull that out and move on to yellow <laughs> so now I will I actually had to clean that a spatula because that spoon was too small and it was taking too long so now that I got my yellow I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the corner of the Ziploc bag as well and I'm going to get those out of the way and now I'm just going to go ahead and set those aside and twist the tops when you twist the tops like that it pushes the product down into the corner so I'm going to do that with all three Ziploc bags And once I have that completed, I will grab more Ziploc bags. <laughs> and on this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to cut that side open for more space. And once I have that, I will set it aside and grab another Ziploc bag. Now with this one, I'm actually going to cut both sides so that the whole bag will fold open. You see I do that side and then move on over to the side so it opens like a book. And then you will flatten it out on your space like this. And we will start with our pudding mixes. Cut off the corner. And go ahead and make a line. I started with the pistachio because I have more pistachio than I have the others. So that will be my base color. And you can very much just skip all of this part and just layer the three colors on three different sections in your pie. But I just wanted to make this fun and special since it is just going to be an Easter special and not something that I do every day. And I'm going to do the same thing with the rest of the batch. Now remember, this is just one serving. If you're running a club and you're gonna promote these, I highly suggest that you do a really big batch and just make multiple pies and have them first come, first serve ready. And I don't wanna waste any product, so I'm going to squeeze out everything I can in all three bags into this Ziploc. And now, once I have all the three colors in there all the way, I'm going to roll this Ziploc bag. Just like that. So now you have all three colors in one bag. And with the other bag that I just cut a little bit of the side, I'm just going to lay that in there to the corner like I did with the um, individual flavors and now I'll go ahead and just sit this one aside and I have another Ziploc bag here for the graham crackers and I'm not going to use much graham crackers so I'm just going to put one and maybe a half and um, just work with that since it is just one pie if you're doing a big batch just add a little more graham crackers in there if you don't already have them pre-crushed some people have them pre-crushed I don't because I have customers who like them whole on the top so I'm gonna go ahead and crush these so that it's easier to scoop And then I'll set those aside and get my last Ziploc bag. I promise this is the last one you will need. I'm going to get my whipped cream. 
and add that into the corner of the bag as well. I am going to snip a little of the side like I did the others for more space. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the whipped cream. You could just squirt it out of the can into the pie cup. But the pie cup, um, it kind of tends to look better when you just use the Ziploc bag. So I'm going to use our smallest cups that we offer. And this is what I will pre-make the pies with. So I'll start with my layer of graham crackers, which is just one tablespoon. And then I will grab my pudding mix, snip the end of it just like that. And I will make my first layer of pie. And since we have the three colors in there together, it swirls together kind of like when you buy a cupcake from the grocery store and it has the colors swirl together. So it just, like I said, it makes a fun Easter pie that you can promote um, just to do around Easter time to get people's attention and fun for the kids. The third layer, I'm going to add whipped cream. So I'll go ahead and add that layer in there, just like I did the pie. And then I'm just gonna tap it down um, to flatten it out once I put these graham crackers in here because you do want it to settle if you don't tap it to make it settle while you're making it and you have them setting in your club for customers to come pick up it'll tend to start drooping so make sure that you tap it down so that the products can set and now I'm going to do the same exact thing I did for another layer this time, I'm just going to go ahead and use the rest of the product that I have. You could leave a little to put on the top, but I think I'm going to top this one with whipped cream so I can use some Easter sprinkles. So that is our layer of pudding, and we're going to add a little bit more of the whip. And like I said, once you get this whip, you're going to want to tap it help it settle and once you got it settled I'm just gonna top it off with a little bit of more graham crackers and then I will pull out the fun Easter sprinkles look at the layers you see fun welcoming inviting Top it off with some Easter sprinkles for that final touch. See how cute? It's just a fun thing to promote, especially if you're running a club. It's really good to have fun new things. It's easy. It's cute. I mean, who doesn't want to take a bite of this? I'm eating this one. Not going to lie. But this is the Easter pie. Comment below. Let me know if you want to see the banana pudding, cookies and cream, and chocolate mud pie. 